Hello everyone, this is your one and only Desire and welcome to a little mini series that I am calling The Rokas. And I know you guys are wondering like where is the new LP that's supposed to be coming out this month? It is coming this month, it's just going to be coming a little bit later because I have recently been sick and as I talk to you guys right now... <laughs> I am sweating like crazy because I'm just so hot and my body temperature is just all over the place and I may even sound a little bit nasally so y'all just gonna have to excuse me but with this this is not gonna be a whole little a whole little LP or whatever it's just like I said it's gonna be a little mini series um I'm gonna get into what this sim is, who she is, what she's about, what she has going on, where she's at right now, because I know you guys don't know anything about her unless you follow my website and you follow her life. I will link that on well, my website and where you can go to find little information about her if you're interested down in the description below. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. Now before I do start I do want to say that for this week because this video will be posted Monday usually I update my website and I tried to add a new element of my story, um, something about her life, some CC finds, and all the other good stuff. I'm actually going to be taking a break for the week. And I do apologize because, like I said, I've been sick. I haven't done anything. I'm just still trying to recover. So next week, um, there's going to be a new part to my story. There's going to be just new content all around as far as my website is concerned. Because I have a lot of stuff that I have to do. Like I just got so behind on everything. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this game. The sim that you guys are looking at right now, this is actually my favorite sim of all time. Her name is Camilla O'Shea. Currently now Roka because she just got married and all the other good stuff you can see in the bottom here. Uh, I've been playing with her for a long, long time. <laughs> I've been through so much with her and I just love her life so much that I just, I had to write about it. So, and I'm not going to go into full detail right now as far as like what she's been through. You guys can go and read about that if you're interested. Right now, currently, what's going on with Camilla in her world is that they're actually dealing with the loss of a family friend that has passed away. And Paula is taking it especially hard. And, uh, so for those who follow her life and other good stuff they're just dealing with a loss right now and currently where she is she is actually in her store um, let me just tab right quick so you guys can see um, this store is kind of like an everything kind of store she has clothes she has electronics she has um, paintings that she's painted all of these herself that she sells um, she has a little kids section. She has stuff that you can buy from your home. Um, just a little uh, skill based stuff like guitars, little music section. Section, I'm sorry. <laughs> that you can buy things and a little full area. And then down here, because I'm not going to be doing a whole lot. You guys are just going to be seeing me play. This is the cafeteria for her workers and here is her office now like i said this a lot is in the gallery if you look at my sims 4 tour you can get like a better view of what everything looks like and everything like that you just look for that um as far as like my playlist i'm gonna go ahead and open the store um Okay, we don't need any advertisement. Okay, so everything is good. She's going to go into her office and work on her computer. Um, now, just to tell you a little bit about Camilla. Uh, she is at the top of her career. 
uh, she is a I cannot remember she's an internet superstar so in this world in this little save file she is a celebrity like people know about Camilla if you don't know about Camilla then you live under a rock <laughs> pretty much and with the fame mod um she is actually a celebrity in that so you'll randomly see like maybe paparazzi or something following her around or something like that or um, you might see like a little notification for her to promote a book or a brand or something of the sort and also she has currently two kids um, her oldest is Kylo Roca and their second child which is a girl her name is seven she's actually at home with the babysitter and her husband if you don't know right now is Paula Roca and they have been together for a long time it was a long time before they went down the whole marriage road and had kids and stuff they actually dated for a little bit then they moved in together and then they decided to go ahead and get married and then they decided that they were ready for a family he was ready for a family before she was just because they're just so busy with everything like she has a club or her own she has her own friends her own little social life he has his own set of friends and um he has his own little stuff going on he's at the top of his career also he's a hall of famer and i just think of that as like football because they don't say what kind of sport it is but he's at the top of his career he's a celebrity as well he goes out and <laughs> he has to promote stuff and well paparazzi they follow him around and stuff as well and then between the two of them they have three and a half businesses uh camilla like i said she has this store uh where she says everything in it and then Paulo he has a fitness store because he's all about fitness that's his career that's what he loves to do and he sells everything from workout equipment to clothes to everything down to like trophies that you can <laughs> use to give people for like competitions and stuff he sells it and uh, not too long ago they actually opened a store well not open a store they actually open a gym under his uh, fitness store that people can buy a membership for which they really can't but you know I just they pay a fee <laughs> to me so they go down there they work out and his gym right now is the only one that has the most upgraded workout equipment as far as like the rock climbing walls so if you want that experience his gym is the only place to be so that's like a little business in itself so that's why i say half a business and then they also have a restaurant that's under construction that's gonna be for that's gonna be a very pricey meals uh very good food very pricey meals that people can go to with their family for breakfast lunch and dinner and just have a good time but the reason why i said that's under construction is because um there is something going on with a lot that i have to figure out as far as like the glitch because sometimes some people won't come in or the workers won't come in it's just it's really crazy um, but now that I took you guys heads off, um, let's see what her workers are doing. And my computer has been running for a little bit, so it's probably going to be a little slow today. So she's answering customers' questions. Uh, let's see what he's doing. And like I said, you guys are just going to be watching me play this pretty much because I really don't have a goal or anything like I said this isn't really an LP this is just to hold you guys over until I go ahead and start this new LP and I did start recording for it but just getting sick just set me back a whole lot because I couldn't really talk and then my nose is kind of filled up and all that other good stuff so hopefully I don't sound too bad to you guys but I'm getting over it slowly getting over it and um, as well Camilla she actually she writes books uh, she writes music um, she just does a whole lot so she's always busy if she's not working as well as like going to regular work then she's at her job like at the store 
it's just it's cool we're not gonna be here all day because i do want her to go home and see her little baby girl and i don't know if paulo is at work if he works today uh he does work today he works in three hours but i'm gonna bring him here to the store so you guys can actually see him you see what he looks like and also you guys will probably get a chance to see his store as well but let me put the walls up so you guys can kind of like see oh wait we got some people ready to buy and he has to promote a brand as well um but this is the store you guys can see i don't want to do a whole little walkthrough um this is the girl side and you know how you walk into the store i try to keep it as close as possible as far as like how you walk into the store and you'll see the mannequins up you know with an outfit <laughs> or something so i tried to do that and um it originally didn't look like this when i had got the store like it's been redecorated like twice um, I redecorated it when I first got it and I was like mm, I'm really not happy with it and I decided to redecorate it again his socks though do y'all see these socks they're really cute I don't remember getting those <laughs> that is CC which is terrible I do it all the time I get CC and forget it's in there and be like okay <laughs> all right so let me uh let me change his outfit uh we'll put this on him yes yes come on change clothes uh, then you can help bring up some customers before you go to work All right, so this is Paulo. His his life is working out. His wife, his kids, and working out is what he is all about. So he trains people. He he's in sports. He has a fitness store, all that other good stuff. And he's I I tell you that Paulo he's a really good guy, like a really really good guy. And they just they had something like I don't know if you guys think I'm crazy, but him and Camilla they just have something like they just connected so well he's never really like stepped out on her or wanted to be with anyone else like even when he was like by himself and I wasn't controlling him like he just wasn't really doing a lot like he was really serious about Camilla and I'm happy about that you know I'm really happy about that oh so cute love love <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have him help ring up some of these customers that we have in here. I don't even know if I put the walls. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's get it together. I'm going to have him ring him up. Thank you, Paolo. And her store is a little bit pricey. And she is looking to actually raise the prices up a little bit but you can have it where you're paying top dollar for everything in the store but we're working our way up to that we're working our way up to that but i tell you and you can see her money her money is maxed out they have they just they get money from work from their businesses um they've invested money so they actually get like a lump sum every week depending on what you know the funds of the household so they just have money to spare to throw away like they just they have it they have it all right so we are gonna ring him up i love this shirt you guys it's so cute but it doesn't have like something that you wear under it so i just put like a little bra under there everybody wants to buy something today it's really not this busy i guess they're like oh the camera's on <laughs> we gotta show out I think I want to close the store at 3 and have her go home so you guys can see her kitties and see where their house where they live because they still live in the city but they live in like a penthouse and he has to go to work alright so soon as she brings them up we're going to go ahead and close the store 
and she's hungry anyway all right so let's go ahead and close i've been open for six hours and they made two thousand dollars like right. just crazy. hello everyone we are back here and we are actually at the apartment penthouse whatever you want to call it um it's still under construction because they just moved here uh, not too long ago before they start having their kids and in the midst of them like trying to move in and stuff Camilla that found out that she was preggers so they've uh, been slowly working on the house and as their family grows uh, so will the house as far as like decorating and stuff but I'm gonna give you guys like a little quick tour of what the house looks like it's not gonna be in depth you can see seven <laughs> over here but um this is the kitchen area where all the magic happens all the food and stuff camilla she has actually maxed out her cooking and gourmet cooking skills so she's always in here throwing something together or either the butt lettuce why there's two fridges in here and two stoves because i never know who's going to be cooking and then also they have a um the stoves that you see uh, when you go to the restaurant, I don't can't think of the name <laughs> at the moment, but it's where you can cook all the little extra meals that you get at the restaurant, and I want her to be able to do that when they go out. Let me tab back out. Um, then back here through here, um, just a little place to have uh, play some basketball. Paulo loves playing basketball. Like I said, if he's not working out, he's playing basketball and he's trying to get into writing. So that's kind of been added to his little roster. And then um, out this way, this is where you come in. Their door is actually locked because paparazzi likes to come in and uh, invade their space. So that's just like a little sitting area. You come out this door. Um, this is just to overlook the city and you can head to the back and she paints. That's what she does on her painting. Uh, this is her little garden where she gets all her little fruits and vegetables and herbs and stuff. And I did this because, like I said, she cooks all the time and some stuff you actually need to grow for different recipes. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and make sure she has everything that she needs <laughs> so she can go ahead and cook whatever she wants to cook. And then over here, uh, this is just a little bathroom. This is more so like the guest bath bathroom, like because they always have someone coming over because a whole lot of people have keys to their apartment. Um, let me kind of let me. I'm trying to I'm trying to work it out, y'all. <laughs> but it's a little tub, um, little pot for the for the kitty uh, shower. Then you come through here and through here. I know you guys are like, what is going on? This is just a little sitting area. You can see like her little garden where she started. Uh, this is just to come read books, chillax, go upstairs. Um, this little area is stuff that she has collected over time. She has maxed, because I've been playing with her so long, she's maxed out a lot of her skills. Um, and collected a lot of stuff so this is little stuff that she's collected over time she's a city girl so that's why she has so much stuff in here uh these are actually paulo's trophies i'm just gonna pretend pretend like this is his team on the low low uh this is their friend wall uh, and them actually because like i said they have been <laughs> together for a long time uh before they even got married so that's cool to me and then in here um this is where seven currently resides and paulo's in here he's like i said daddy wife or work it out that's what it is um this this is was kylo's i know you guys are like what what is going on this was kylo's old room he just turned into a kid not too long ago and I haven't really transitioned to turning this room into a little girl haven. So right now it's in the mix of <laughs> being her, like making it her room. 
uh, any other kids that they have this will kind of be where they're gonna start at so it's a little dry for my taste right now but that's just it's just how it's gonna look for now till I get around to actually like decorating it I don't really don't feel like it right now so it's just gonna look like that then here is the master bedroom where Camilla and her booski Apollo where they sleep this is their little um, photo wall here um, their wedding pictures over the course of time of them dating and stuff I just love them together they're just such a cute couple and then this is where Camilla writes all her books and all the other good stuff uh, the bed the closet that's supposed to be like a little fireplace um, and here is their bathroom they actually have um, the toilets over here uh, this is where you can go in here and kind of take a, a bath <laughs> over, over here and then it's their shower over here it takes me so long to just to kind of decorate but everything you say right now is everything that I have decorated and then back here because they don't really have like a backyard because they live in the city I turned this little corner uh, over here into a place where Kylo and Seven could play and um, just enjoy themselves come out here and be kids they put a little soft uh, padding down so the kids can just come and play they don't have to worry about them put a little fence and stuff and they can just run a game and have fun and then back here is their little entertainment area um, they got the grill they got a bar um, it's overlooking the city it's so pretty I love this they have a little sitting area little hookah place and I made it colorful <laughs> because I just wanted a pop of color because the inside of the house is kind of like a neutral tone so I just made it colorful out here and they're always entertaining so you know why not why not like I said it's still not done I still have a lot of stuff I need to do but in here it's just a little this is gonna be a bathroom but right now they just have a toilet and a place for seven to go if she crawls up here um you know i gotta have my vines y'all i gotta have my vines so <laughs> it's in here uh they can watch tv play games listen to music or whatever they want i love this little area and they have like a little place they can go outside um, they just have a little sitting area here. They have a little fish tank going on right there. Then this is like a little office in case um, Kylo wants to get on the computer because he doesn't have one in his room. I don't feel like it's needed in his room right now. Maybe when he becomes a teenager then he can have one but it's not necessary. And this is going to be a bathroom over here too. I just I haven't done anything with it yet. So that's how that's going to go. And then over here is going to be the music room. <laughs> you can say I just set music and stuff in here because Camilla is a very music driven sim. Like I said, she writes her music and uh, she sells her songs and all that other good stuff. So this is really going to be a room for her. But we still haven't fixed that up yet. And then here is little Kylo's room. I love his room so much. I'm going to put the walls up. This was him as a baby. I always do this. This is like tradition. Like I got to have a picture of them when they were a baby. And I like sending them to the hospital so they can have like a little birth certificate. And they can take it with them when they get older and all sort of stuff like that. So I have to do that. And then this is his bed. I put little toys and board games and stuff around everywhere. He has some trophies, his little night lights, his book bags, and little toys and stuff. Um, a little toy chest, a place for him to build his little blocks. Um, this is where he'll put his little void critters because he's really into that. His um, little arts and crafts table he has. And then he has little desks in here but like i said there's nothing on here this is really just for him to kind of sit and do his homework if he needs a place to do it um let me tab out and then he has a little bathroom in here but it's nothing to his bathroom no long as it's like a shower and a sink and a place for him to go that i all for i'm gonna try to have it so all the kids have their own little bathroom in the rooms and then out here 
um this is just a little pool area i still have yet to fix it up it's gonna be like a little grill place and <laughs> all the other stuff like that but they can grill sit and chill grill and chill grill and chill and then here uh for right now this is going to be the butler's bedroom uh, they really don't spend too much time in here so I was like I'm just gonna put a bed some pictures some records this is actually a um a radio it just looks like a record player and I really liked it when I found it I was just like oh that's really cute and then here is uh this is Paulo's little sanctuary um because he likes to work out so he has little rock climbing wall out here and then in here he has a punching bag a treadmill um, my yoga mat is for Camilla and uh, his little workout bench or whatever you want to call it uh, it's still some work that needs to be done <laughs> like I said like I haven't done everything yet like these you see like all these beds in here I just set usually what I do when I'm decorating I usually just sit the objects of the kind of room that I want it to be and put it in there so I know later on when I get ready to start decorating that that's what it's going to be so these are going to be future bedrooms uh seven might be in one of these bedrooms because there's no room on the second floor really on the second floor there's only Kylo's bedroom and um uh the little living area for everyone else sorry just coughed really loud um, but yeah, so that is the house that they live in. They are in the fashion district. But let's go ahead and play, see what everyone is doing. I might go ahead and end it soon. Just because we're not really doing anything. Uh, but this is little Kylo. He just got home from school. So I'm just going to make sure he's done his homework. Since so he's playing with his toys, don't have nothing else he has going on. I might have Camilla fix some food and I need for him to put some clothes on so uh, like I said you guys are just gonna be watching me play this game there's not gonna be any goals or anything and we're just gonna chill and play the game you guys are gonna see me use MC command center cuz why not uh, we'll put that on him there we go and he has a little mohawk like his daddy and here is Seven sitting out here. I don't know what she's doing, but she's so cute. Kyla was a cute kid. He was such a cute kid, but let me change her outfit. Um, there we go. That's Seven. She is such a cutie. I love her. I love the red hair. All right. And Apollo. See, he's going to work out. <laughs> He was in his kids room and now he's gonna go work out so I think I'm gonna have Camilla to cook something even though she's trying to eat this white cake who I don't know who was by so we're not gonna eat that I don't know why it's even in the fridge and someone is here it's game night uh, one of her friends are here but I don't think he can get in because they have the door locked. But I'm going to have her to... Hmm. We're going to cook a gourmet meal. Alright, so these two ladies here. I'm going to show you who they are in just a second. Uh, Paulo, please go to work. And I do pause a lot. I do apologize. I'm just trying to show you guys who they are. Okay, so this here. Uh, this is Yumiko. Uh, she is the best friend of Camilla. Um, she was one of the few people that she met when she first moved to the city, to San Marcino. Uh, she met one other girl that was her neighbor, but some stuff kind of went bad. And she kind of gravitated more towards Yumi. Because she's a loyal good friend. And I love them so much. And as you can tell, her last name is Lothario. Uh, she got married to Don. And they have some kids together currently. And she just got married not too long ago. So she's enjoying the married life. And getting used to having her kids and stuff around. Because she was by herself for the longest. And this here is <laughs> Zoe. 
Zoe Patel. If you guys don't recognize her, she is the main star of the updates of what's been going on right now. So if you guys are interested to know what she has going on, which is a lot and it's drama, then you guys go ahead and head to that website and just read up because it's crazy. It is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, they come over all the time. Like, that's just, those are girls. And here, like, I'm gonna show you an old picture. Um, this is actually Camilla and Yumi. <laughs> A very old picture. I don't know if I have any more. I have to see. Uh, this is even older. Right here. This was in the earlier days of their friendship. So, as you can see, it's been a minute. And this is her and Zoe right here um, in the earlier days of their friendship. Um, who else? Yeah, but here, I know you guys are going to think this is weird, but this is actually <laughs> Camilla's first boyfriend. But they didn't work out. They were, um, they just had some troubles. And he was really possessive. Like, he was always following her around. And just, he was just trying to do too much. And Camilla just, she wasn't having it. So, she ended up breaking up with him and meeting someone else. That I'm not going to tell you guys about. But, uh, you guys can read up on it. Read up on it. And this here, um, this picture... Hold on. This picture was the first time her and Paolo actually went out on a date. So, <laughs> I was just, it's just so cute. It's so cute to look back on these pictures to see what they have going on. Alright, so she's done cooking. Uh, this here, uh, there's so many people in here. I don't know why so many people are here right now. Um... This is another one of her friends, someone that she's known for a long time. His name is Nubaya, I think, but I just call him Nubu. And he was actually a makeup rap that I did when I was doing a lot of stuff online and posting it to Facebook. And ever since he got a little makeover, they've been friends. I was like, why not, you know? And they've been friends to this day. And if here, you guys don't know, oh! This is Tori, you guys. Ah, like I said, um, she started here in the save file. This is where she started. This is where she originated. She is still in the save file. I don't control her whatsoever. She just, she does what she wants. She was supposed to be a new friend for Camilla, and they get along so well, which I'm happy about. And, um... She just does her own thing. And I think she has kids in this one. Because I feel like I saw her progress. But we can always check. Because we don't have no rules, right? She has two children? What? Uh, she has Marin Delator and Enrique Delator. What? I'm going to have to go visit her to see <laughs> what she got going on. But let's focus on the kids now since they're about to go home. I need for her to talk to... She really needs to talk to Zoe just to kind of see what's been up because Zoe is going through it right now. <laughs> Zoe is going through it. Uh, let me see. I'm going to ask her about her day, what's been going on with her. I'm not going to try not to disclose too much information because I don't want to give it away before... I um actually put it up online, so I feel like did he do his homework? Did you do your homework, Kylo? Yeah, you did. All right, so little Kylo is back here on the playground. Watch her and see what she's doing. Measuring, imagining, imagining a pirate ship. Um, and then something happened off camera. I cut it out. Uh, it says the kick is up, looks a bit wobbly, but it's off the backboard, squeaks through the uprights, and it's on into the pool. He's done an amazing shot by Paolo, performance game small. It really doesn't even matter about his performance at work since he's at the top of his career, so. 
it's whatever but seven she needs to be taken care of so i'm gonna have her go to the bathroom and she's a little miss independent busybody so she doesn't really like getting help from her parents as far as like going to the bathroom and stuff so she does what she wants but she's gonna get a bath and get something to eat oh you missed it and look at kylo cleaning up the dishes i tell you that's what's up thank you kylo let's see camilla's going in here to check on seven so seven even though you're sleepy you're gonna get a bath and you're gonna get something to eat and you're gonna be put down to bed and then after that i think i'm gonna end the part uh because i'm not really doing anything and then when we come back we're probably gonna spend the day with paulo to kind of see what he has going on uh, check out his store and his gym. And I love this picture. I love this picture. Like this picture in this bathroom. I love it so much. Love it. <laughs> We're going to give her breakfast food. But don't judge me. Uh, pick up a sermon. As long as she's eating something. <laughs> and Paulo is back home. He made $2,000. And that's him in his little uniform. He is so huge. Like. He's just so huge. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to have him do. Maybe if he could come and clean that for me. Then I guess he's probably going to go and work out a little bit. But uh, his group, he's in a couple of groups. He's actually still in Powerhouse. And he runs Powerhouse? I had no idea. So Khaled, which is their landlord, no not Khaled, um, Antoine is their landlord. He's in the group. Um, his friend Khaled's in the group and Nubu. That's Camilla's friend is in the group. And he's oh he's in three. So he's in Powerhouse, Party House, Eva Jade, and the Bears. The Bears is the football team of the sims for story purposes just so like i said like they're all on the team and i was i couldn't really think of anything so i was like i'm gonna call them the bears they'll be the bears and we'll just call it a day but camilla she's in party house and she's has her group ssc she has yumiko tamika zo eva which is paulo's friend Tori and then Jade which is um, Paula's friend as well and Riri Rihanna and um, I know y'all like why is Jade and Eva in the group but because they became cool and they're around each other all the time uh, Camilla was like why not and Eva was also in her wedding when she got married to Paula so the friendship is real uh, I need you to eat this food. She is not having it. She was like, I don't want to eat right now. I want to go to sleep. Uh, we'll give her some milk as well, and then she'll be good to go. And Camilla is tired. So once we get everybody down, then I'll go ahead and end the part. We're almost there. Almost there. Let me get a close-up of Seven so you guys can like, actually see her. Isn't she cute? They have like the fattest cheeks ever. <laughs> She's so cute. She looks so mean. Why are both mean mugging? And then see look out here you guys. This is the reason why they have the door closed because this is paparazzi. If you see the camera in their hands, it's paparazzi and they just walk up in your house and just do whatever and think they're think it's their house and just make themselves at home so <laughs> that's why the door is closed because i really don't need them running all throughout her house like that so and um when we come back i might redecorate seven's room and you guys can kind of see like my thought process when i decorate and i might speed it up just so you guys can see me kind of decorate it up a little bit and make it her own she, so she's gonna be in here for a while because i want them to max out all of their skills before they age up so 
that's why it's gonna take me a little bit it takes me a while to play <laughs> this save file i take my time and chill and all of the good stuff but when i write little updates about them it's usually off the top of the dome <laughs> and i'm like really far ahead so i don't know how to do it i don't know how to keep it all in there but that's what happens all right so now that seven is asleep i'm gonna send camilla to sleep and we'll say goodbye to the rookas all right guys well i hope you enjoyed the first part of the little mini series until my new lp comes out if you want to follow their lives um and get like a little background information on camilla i will have my website and the page that you can go to linked in the description below so go follow check it out read it see what it's all about and i want to thank you so much for joining me and watching this little mini series and if you could please like share comment and subscribe and if you want some more content from me hit those links below and until next time bye